If you played Asheron's Call in November of 2002, you might have taken note of some of the words of the town criers during that time, such as, I'm afraid of anywhere where the Tusker is king. Or, My cousin went to a new island and all I got was a t-shirt and a plaque and a toy Tusker, so I'm happy. Welcome to the Abyss, folks. My name is Void Muddy, and today we will explore the Tusker Island known as Apis Lasso. Duke Langdon sent the call to his followers, requesting they all come to his mansion immediately to hear news of the latest discoveries in Dareth. The Covenant Crystal hummed with the arrival of each follower, and soon the Duke's audience chamber was filled to overflowing with people all struggling to hear this news. Seated in his throne at the front of the chamber, the Duke addressed his messenger. You mean to tell me that there is yet another island off the coast of Dareth? Yes, your grace responded his liegeman diffidently. What is that, the fifth island discovered? Langdon grumbled. How many islands are there around this accursed isle? Well, your grace, a figure standing beside the duke's throne began. If you count the individual Visayan islands, this would be at least the twelfth such island. Likely there are quite a few more. All the records we've discovered point to Dareth being part of an archipelago. <sighs> Thank you, Kinross. The Duke sighed. He pinched his fingers to rub the bridge of his nose. I appreciate you being studious in your duties as vizier. However, the question was merely rhetorical. Kinross bowed his head. Yes, your grace. Turning his attention back to the messenger who remained kneeling before him, the Duke asked, And the name of this new island? Actually, it consists of two islands, your grace, so these would be the 13th and 14th islands discovered. Yes, thank you. The Duke cut in abruptly. The number of islands is not as important at the moment. What is the name of this new island? Apis Lassel, your grace. Another Empyrean name. The Duke sighed. How did you come to find this new island? I was exploring the northern wilds of Osteth when I came across a pack of Tuskers. Standing in the center of this group was a shrine of some sort. The Tuskers seemed unusually interested in defending it. I see. And what did this shrine look like? A uh, Tusker, your grace. Interesting, the Duke said. He turned to address his vizier. Kinros. Do you think the Tuskers have developed some sort of totemic belief system? Perhaps, uh, to the Vrindi influence? Uh, no. The Duke blinked. No. No. Your grace. Duke langed inside and turned back to his liegemen. Please continue your tale. You found a shrine, you said. Yes, your grace. After defeating the Tuskers surrounding it, I approached the shrine and suddenly found myself tumbling through portal space. Once the haze of the portal magic faded, I was standing on the island. Well, one of the two islands that- Yes, yes, the Duke, beckoning the man to continue with an impatient wave of his hand. Well, your grace, I found myself in what could best be called a village, although it was unlike any village I had ever seen. The buildings all stood on stilts, and as I climbed to the platforms, I found Esparians living in the buildings. People, you say? What did you learn from the townsfolk? Nothing, your grace. Nothing? Were they unwilling to talk? No, your grace. They seemed unable to talk. The only sounds I ever heard from them were a few grunts. They were almost totally unresponsive, except when it came to the Tuskers around them. They seemed unusually dedicated to their Tusker masters. Interesting. The Duke rubbed his chin. An island where Tuskers rule over men. Your Grace, it is not unheard of for we Esparians to be dominated by another species. Kinross interrupted. You, of course, recall the dark years when the Uthor enslaved us, forcing us to prepare that disgusting gruel they fed to their grubs. Thank you for that history lesson, Kinross, the Duke said sharply. Although again, it was simply a rhetorical question. Muttering under his breath, the Duke turned his attention back to the man kneeling before the dais. What other information do you have to offer us? Well, your grace, it appears the Tuskers have a king of sorts. 
the man replied. Surprisingly, some of the Tusker's grants were almost understandable. The ones I defeated would occasionally speak of their king as they fell. A king? Amazing! The Duke exclaimed. Kinross, what do you make of this discovery? Nothing, Kinross said, then quickly added, Your Grace. The Duke muttered more noticeably this time, but then turned back to his follower and said, Does this king have a name, or do you know how he can be found? The man shifted uncomfortably. Well, Your Grace, I might have heard his name, he paused. And his name is... The Duke prompted. Uh, well, I'm not sure I understood them correctly, Your Grace. The Tusker's grunts were difficult to understand. That's fine, just tell me what you think you heard. As I said though, Your Grace, the Tusker's grunts were barely what I would call speech. Just tell us the name, the Duke bellowed. Uh, Bobo. The Duke blinked for a moment, opening and closing his mouth as he searched for something to say. Finally, he blurted, Bobo? Yes, Your Grace, Bobo. The Duke sat silent for a moment longer, then suddenly stood up and spoke in a loud, authoritative voice. This audience is at an end. As he stalked out of the room, the Duke muttered loudly under his breath, gesturing angrily in response to the discussion he was carrying out with himself. Once he was gone, the audience chamber exploded in conversation, each person wondering what to make of this island of Apis Lassel and its mysterious king. And thus ends the introductory teaser for the Iron Coast monthly update. This text was released along with the November event and Apis Lassel. Any Asparian explorers looking to cross the boundary of water separating Dareth from the Apis Coast need only take the Town Portal Network. Heading to the Annex, you'll find a portal to Ulutanga's Refuge and a description on the side reading, Ulutanga's Refuge is found on the tropical islands of Apis Lassel. For many years, Tuskers were taken by the Verindi and used as guards, slaves, or in their experiments. One such Tusker is Ulutanga, a test subject of the rogue Verindi airbacks. Ulutanga was gifted with incredible strength and size, magic, and intellect. He used his new abilities to escape from Airbax's laboratory, and he fled across the sea to Apis Lassel. Eventually, the other Tuskers were freed from the Verindi, and they live with their human worshippers in Ulutanga's refuge. Now, of course, we can jump through that portal, but what fun would that be for a geography lesson about the mysterious islands off the coast of eastern Osteth? As it so happens, there were ways to the island before the addition of the Town Portal Network. Who knew? In any case, if you recall the haphazard dialogue between the Duke Langdon and his trusty follower, one who discovers a Tusker Shrine statue may find themselves mysteriously speared away to Apis Lassel. Now you'll mostly find these statues randomly spawning across certain parts of northern and southern Osteth, or even on the southern land bridge to the Direlands. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Random spawns? So here's the digs, guys. There are also other ways of getting to Apis Lassel that involve Tusker temples. Say what? That's right, first Tusker shrines and now Tusker temples. There are three such Tusker temples of varying difficulty. One temple appropriate for players level 1 to 20 is at the coordinates 10.5 S 65.6 East near Dryreach. The next Tusker temple is restricted to level 20 to 40 and can be found at 59.8 N, 28.4 East, near Nadisa Castle. And the last Tusker Temple is for anyone above level 40, and can be found at 0.7 N, 68.1 W, near Fort Tithana. Now, I'm not going to spell out how to get to each of those towns, because similarly to this, there's the Town Network way, and then there's the Lore way. This video is about Tusker Island, after all. We don't want to get distracted by all this Isparian foolishness, such as towns. Pfft. In any case, back to the task at hand. The temples are all identical in layout, with the only differences being the difficulty of the mobs inside. There are several wings of the temple, but generally following the compass north will bring you to an interactable Tusker Shrine. Double-click the shrine 
and you will be yeeted through portal space to the desired location of Ulutanga's Refuge. Ulutanga's Refuge is a quirky little town with bamboo huts built on stilts. There's a lot to see and do here, but that, my friends, will have to wait till part two of this video series. Yeah, yeah, I know, just when we were getting on a roll, right? Regardless of that, my friends, please subscribe if you love Asheron's Call. You can click the videos popping up on screen to continue with the deep dives on Asheron's Call lore. Until next time, friends, have fun and stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!